Growing up as a kid, yeah. All a nigga wanna have was a very bear scarf and three dollars in my pocket. Yeah. Instead, I got beat with a switch, but I don't give a fuck, but it's on my body. Scars all up on me, but I run around from me. America's team, the Dallas Cowboys. What are the expectations for new Dallas Cowboys head coach Mike McCarthy? Now, Mike McCarthy was hired to be the new head coach for the Dallas Cowboys after they parted ways with Jason Garrett, who is now the offensive coordinator for the New York Giants. And Mike McCarthy is a really interesting story. A lot of people aren't talking about Mike McCarthy's story, but I'm a guy who loves to get behind a good story. And Mike McCarthy is kind of in a redemption story because... This was a guy who spent a very long time as the head coach for the Green Bay Packers. And things kind of ran his course. And I believe the reason why Mike McCarthy ended up getting released or parting ways with the Green Bay Packers was because he got too overly reliant on Aaron Rodgers, similar to Bill O'Brien with Deshaun Watson. At first, initially, when the Green Bay Packers first went won the Super Bowl under Mike McCarthy, and Mike McCarthy got his first ring with the Packers back in 2010, the Green Bay Packers were a balanced team. It wasn't all on Aaron Rodgers. And Aaron Rodgers didn't have to carry the Green Bay Packers on his back. He had a solid run game, and he had a really good defense. But after that 2010 Super Bowl team, the Green Bay Packers had a lack of running game, and they didn't have a great defense. And I feel like this Green Bay Packers organization, on top of Mike McCarthy, got too overly reliant on Aaron Rodgers and was saying, hey, Aaron, we're going to go ahead and give you the keys, and we need you to go ahead and carry us. And I feel like Mike McCarthy kind of got a little bit lazy. Now, I'm not saying Mike McCarthy was all entirely lazy and things like that, but I'm just saying I just feel like he got too overly reliant on Aaron Rodgers. And you can tell because Aaron Rodgers had a lot of power, which is why the rumors started circulating and all of the articles came out about their having a power struggle between him and Aaron Rodgers and Green Bay. And that was because Mike McCarthy gave Aaron Rodgers so much power because he simply just got a little bit too over-reliant on Aaron Rodgers. So I believe that Mike McCarthy still has what it takes to be a good coach in the NFL. I just believe that he kind of had a relationship that kind of went sour in Green Bay and they ran his course and now he needed a fresh start. And a good thing about this is that Mike McCarthy had the whole entire 2019 season to, you know, take a break, take a year off, look at himself in the mirror and reinvent himself. So I'm expecting Mike McCarthy to have a new innovative offense and the thing about Mike McCarthy also was that his offense in Green Bay was kind of vanilla it was kind of too old school for the modern day style of the NFL game so I'm wondering if Mike McCarthy is going to adapt his offense to give some more modern day looks to what the current NFL is going into now with more spread oriented attacks and things like that and when you look at what team Mike McCarthy has Mike McCarthy has a really good Dallas Cowboys team that unlike most head coaches, when they get hired by an NFL team, they're taking over an NFL team that doesn't have a lot of talent. But Mike McCarthy has a lot of talent on this Dallas Cowboys roster that is good enough to win right now, especially on the offensive side of football. On the offensive side of football last year, this was, stats-wise, the best offense in the NFL or one of the best offenses in the NFL statistically. And I'm really glad that he decided to bring back offensive coordinator Kellen Moore because I felt like Kellen Moore was more of a scapegoat for just Jason Garrett because it seemed like a lot of people always tried to place the blame on the offensive coordinator that was Kellen Moore who was in his first year calling plays for the Dallas Cowboys. And I felt like he got thrown under the bus too much and I felt like he was just more of Jason Garrett's scapegoat instead of just manning up and taking the criticism. So I'm really glad that Mike McCarthy recognized the potential and talent that Kellen Moore actually has when it comes to calling plays for the Dallas Cowboys. So I'm really glad that he brought back Kellen Kellen Moore as offensive coordinator. I think Kellen Moore year two with that Prescott is going to flourish. I think that this is a Dallas Cowboys team that's probably one of the more talented offenses in the NFL, probably top five and talented on the offensive standpoint. When you look at this receiving group, you have Amari Cooper, who is a really good wide receiver. You got Michael Gallup, 
who had a really nice second year in the NFL. Then you also pick up C.D. Lamb in this year's NFL draft. So you have probably one of the best wide receiver in trios in the NFL. Then you still have one of the best offensive lines in the NFL. So, I mean, Mike McCarthy has a really good offense to work with. Not to, not to forget, you had Ezekiel Elliott who rushed for 1,400 yards last season. So, I mean, Mike McCarthy has a lot of talent to work with on offense. He doesn't have to worry about not having a lot of good receivers. He's not going to have to worry about offensive line struggles. You got a more than capable quarterback in that Prescott who is playing on the franchise tag this year. He's looking to prove to the Dallas Cowboys or to the rest of the NFL that he has what it takes to be the highest paid quarterback in the NFL or one of the highest paid quarterbacks in the NFL. So, I mean... Mike McCarthy has all the tools in Dallas to be successful on offense. Now, when it comes to the Dallas Cowboys on the defense side of football, I still think this defense is pretty solid. Now, I have some questions about how that secondary is going to look because they lost a couple of key guys. You lost safety Jeff Heath. You lost Byron Jones. So you're going to have some young guys stepping in to replace those guys like Trayvon Diggs, the rookie cornerback out of Alabama. So, I mean, you still got the Marcus Lawrence. You still got one of the best linebackers crops in the NFL with Jalen Smith, with Leighton Vander Esch. So, I mean, this is a Dallas Cowboys team that has some talent on the defense side of the football. I think the best part of their defense is going to be the front seven, and pretty much their the question mark, in my opinion, is going to be how would that secondary hold up. But Mike McCarthy has all the tools in Dallas to win. Not only that, but you're playing in a pretty weak division. Like, this is a division in the NFC East that hasn't had a back-to-back -back division champion in a very long time. And you're looking at teams like the Washington football team that's kind of looking to prove themselves, even though I think they're going to be a little bit better than what a lot of people think in year one under Ron Rivera. You got the New York Giants who don't really have a lot of talent on the defense side of football, but you do have a promising young quarterback in Daniel Jones. But I mean, you got a pretty easy division to win. The only competition really in your division is probably going to be the Philadelphia Eagles. Now, the Washington Redskins, or the Washington football team, excuse me, may push you, but overall, I think the Dallas Cowboys have a good enough team that they could win that division. So, I mean, when you look at Mike McCarthy, he has all the keys to be successful. If you ask me, he has a more easier time to win games in Dallas than he does in Green Bay because I don't recall Green Bay having as talented as a team under Mark McCarthy after 2010 as the Dallas Cowboys have heading into 2020. So, I mean, Mark McCarthy, my expectations for the Dallas Cowboys and Mark McCarthy this year is to make the playoffs. Now, I know that the Dallas Cowboys are going to be learning a new system. They're going to be learning Mike McCarthy's new system. And that might be a little bit of a challenge because of the ongoing pandemic. And they're not really going to have a lot of practice time. They're basically only going to have one month to get ready and know as much of the playbook as they can come week one. But I think if you're Mike McCarthy, I mean, if you're a solid coach, you should be able to have your team ready at to the best of your ability to win some games despite not knowing maybe 100% of the playbook or something like that. So, I mean, Mark McCarthy, my expectation for Mark McCarthy and Dallas Cowboys year one is to make the playoffs. And I'm pretty sure Dallas Cowboy fans have pretty high expectations for the Dallas Cowboys themselves because when you look at the Dallas Cowboys, what kept the Dallas Cowboys from making the playoffs? A lot of Dallas Cowboys fans would say it was pretty much 80% coaching or pretty much 90% coaching. And Jason Garrett made a lot of questionable decisions he made a lot of questionable play calling so I mean I'm really interested to see what Mike McCarthy is going to do with the Dallas Cowboys this season I think Mike McCarthy is one of the more interesting stories to watch this upcoming season like if you're a fan of stories in the NFL and you need somebody to root for root for Mike McCarthy like I know a lot of people don't like rooting for the Dallas Cowboys because America hates the Dallas Cowboys but I mean don't root for the team root for Mike McCarthy because this is a guy who is looking to redeem himself you got to think Mike McCarthy Watch the Green Bay Packers, a team that chose to get rid of them, go 13-3 and and make it to the NFC Conference Championship game without him. So imagine how that made him feel. 
So imagine how motivated Mark McCarthy is going to be. This is a redemption story. So, I mean, I'm expecting Mark McCarthy to get this Dallas Cowboys team to the playoffs. I know you're going to have a little bit of a shaky start because of the pandemic and players still learn your system. But regardless, if you're a new coach, you're a new coach. Have these guys ready to play week one. And I believe that Mark McCarthy should be able to get this Dallas Cowboys team to the playoffs this season. If he doesn't get this Dallas Cowboys team to the playoffs this season, I would consider the 2020 NFL season a disappointment for the Dallas Cowboys this year, considering how much talent they have. All they really need is a good coach.